Hello friends, it's Sherry from Turquoise Dreaming. How's everyone doing today? Welcome to my channel and thank you for joining me. I'm here to work on Roxy's weekly challenge. So uh, if you haven't seen her video for this week, I will link it below, but she decorated some envelopes. They look, I think they were already like made envelopes and you know, like pre-made and then she decorated them and I'm, we're going to decorate them together and I'll just show you the ingredients I'm using just an envelope like this is what I'm going to start with and it's uh here's where it opens it's straight across this is easier if you want to grab an envelope that's straight across instead of one that's got like a triangle triangular shape here and so we're going to use that I've got a rubber stamp some ink some glue some baker's twine a pencil and my crocodile two inch uh circle punch and is that it I think glue i don't know i think did i say glue <laughs> anyway so you'll see as we go along but um here's some i already made so i did you know how if you want been watching this challenge uh rachel does her challenge for 45 minutes but i did part of it off camera so i can just do a quick video for you today and show you my take on it so here's it here it is finished now i haven't decorated this side because i think that the idea is to glue these down possibly, but I could decorate this later if I decide to make it like a over the page kind of envelope or, you know, something like that, clip, paper clip it on. But uh, so the idea is to, you have a text paper here, like a book page and it's glued on. And then we decorated that and then it opens up and you have the inside of your envelope where you can put something tags journal cards paper and i have this writing space here that's just different than what uh rachel did so i'll show you how i did that i have a i think she did do a paper you know a little uh, notch here so i did that too and i did my string different than she did so i'll show you show you how i did that so i did three of them i'll just show you my they're all the same here where i put the ridge score sheet there but they're all kind of you know this one has a dragonfly my bunnies are from my velveteen rabbit book where i fussy cut them out so that's from from that book this one too this one's got the butterfly and a velveteen rabbit <laughs> and this one's got a mushroom and the velveteen rabbit there so or two of them so anyway they i think they came out super cute i think they're fun and they look really pretty and they're pretty simple they're very they're actually very simple so grab your grab your elements and make one make some with me so i'm using this envelope i need to fold my flap over my flap was never folded so i need to fold my flap down oh i haven't picked well i haven't picked out my text yet have i let's grab some text here this is also from my uh, velveteen rabbit book there's a lot of text pages in here it seems so I'm just going to use one of these and I like that on the other couple of those other ones I have the title showing because the title is on every page see how it's on every page so let me get my let's see there's a little bit of glue on here I think I'm just going to cut that off that gluey part there this is a paperback this is from a paperback velveteen rabbit book if you um you know buy your books at thrift stores or online or whatever if you don't feel good about cutting up uh, a hardback, you know, hardcover book, you might find it easier to cut up a paperback book, you know. So anyway, let's see, we're going to glue this down. So we're going to measure. I want, like I said, I want my title showing there. And I'm going to fold this up to get my length here of my paper. And then we're going to cut this off right there. have my paper cutter here. You can use scissors, paper cutter, whatever you like. And so I'll put that back with my bunny papers over there. And then, so the first thing we're going to do before we put this on is we're going to punch our hole right here. And that I did with my crocodile. And I used the smaller hole, the smaller hole. And I just kind of took my flap and centered it, centered it this way and on my flap this way. So and you can measure if you want to find the middle that way. I'm just kind of eyeballing it here. And so I'm going to punch my hole just like that. And then I'm going to take my little paper here 
and put it under here. And I'm gonna center it because my paper, my book page doesn't go all the way to the sides. So I'm just gonna center it so I can see where I want it. I have my title, like I said, I want that showing and I grab my pencil I'm gonna draw a little dot here in my, my you know, little hole that I already punched out. I've got a dot there now so I can see where I need to punch on here. So I'm gonna punch that again with that same little hole punch on my crocodile. There we go. Now I know where to line it up here on my flap. <laughs> so I'm putting my glue on here so I don't put too much glue on my flap. You know what I mean? Because this doesn't go to the side, so I need to know exactly where the glue is going. So to do that, I do put glue on my, my book page. And so I'm going to get glue all over here. I want it to be, this is going to be lifted up and down. And so I want this to be on there really good. And I go all the way to my sides and around this hole a little bit. I just don't want to glue my flap together, so I need to be careful of that. And go ahead and get this on the hole. And it kind of, uh, the way I punched it and lined it up here, it kind of sits into my fold. So that's another guide where I can line it up with my fold, but also with that hole. That's the real, the real uh, place that I want to be, you know, even. So there we go. Now I'm going to go ahead and press that down so it's all nice and glued down. And I'm going to make sure it is lined up. Yes, it is. And you can actually just poke your pencil through there and make sure everything's, make sure your hole is good. <laughs> so, cause you're gonna put a string through there later. And I can see my glue right here. So I'm gonna leave this open for a second while I'm getting my bunny and my rubber stamp ready so that that can glue. So I don't want to put this down and then end up gluing my flap together, right? So let's let that dry for a second. And we're gonna pull down, I'm gonna do my rubber stamping on here so I don't get ink all over my pink table here and decide on my rubber stamped. So I used a mushroom, butterfly, and a dragonfly. And I have a flower here, where's my flower? Oh, I already got it out. <laughs> Have my flower here that I haven't used yet. So let's use a flower on this one. I think this should be about dry, but I'll lift it up again after I do my flower. So this is the only thing you need ink for is just this, you know, flower or whatever you're stamping with. And I'm going to, this is archival coffee ink and it's by Ranger, right? Yes. Oops. Okay, let's get some ink on here and put a flower on here on this book page. I don't have any really big, if you have a big one, that's what Rachel did. She just put a big one all the way across her text. I don't have any big ones, so that's why I'm using a rubber stamp and a little decoration instead of just one big stamp. So I'm just using what I have, right? Okay, so uh, I think I'm going to put this up here in the corner. I want it to overlap I think I'm going to have this overlap my flap a little bit. So I'm going to put it up here in the corner and kind of just do this. Get it all pressed down. There, that came out pretty. I like that. Okay, so that's all the ink we need. So I'm going to get rid of that over there on the other side of my table. And this can go away and this can go away. And so I already fussy cut this out of the Velveteen Rabbit book. And this is a little bunny lamp that was in that book. Isn't it cute? <laughs> so I'm going to glue this right here as a little decoration. Let me see my flap here. I think I need a little bit of glue under there. Guess what, guys? I got my vaccine today. I was able to get it because I work for uh, the legal system. And uh, in North Carolina, the legal system was uh, deemed, uh, you know, deemed uh, able to get their shots there you know vaccines so uh you have to say what kind of i had to say i was in a legal biz and uh, they let me get my immunization today so it went well no side effects my arm's not even really sore and it all went well very organized place that i went to right two minutes from my house and had an appointment and it's done i just got to get the second one in a month so all went well.
just letting you know in case you're uh, looking to get one and you, you're wondering how everybody's doing. Yep, I, mine went good so far. I just got it this morning at 8 a.m. Went to work afterward and no problem. No, wasn't tired, wasn't sick, wasn't anything so far. So <laughs> just a normal day. So there's this part. I think that's really cute. So next we're going to glue our score pad on here. And I folded it up. I, you know, Rachel, I think she put writing paper on here. But I folded it up because I didn't want to cut it off. And I figured that would be a fun, that's a fun little surprise under there. Kind of like you lift it up and you're like, oh, I have all this writing room. Isn't that cool? All right. So that's what I did. So I just measured it like this. I decided um, to kind of put it just a little bit, like less than a quarter of an inch down from where my envelope opens right here. And I folded this up to measure where I'm going to glue. So I just folded this up and then I folded this down so it'll fit under that, you know, flap that's on our flap, <laughs> this right here. And then I have to make sure it's square, so it's kind of not folding it all the way. Let me see. I have to look at it this way to make sure it's square. That's just what I have to do to get myself to see it evenly. Okay. I know because I did the others and I folded them that way. I was like, wait a minute, that's not even. I had to turn it this way. Okay, so then I put glue all over the back here. See, this is the quick little craft, really. And uh, yeah, I did that. I did those three. So really, um, this is probably only taking me about 45 minutes to make four. It's just that this video is going to be short because I'm only going to do one on video to show you guys what I did and get, give, my, give you my take on it and my spin on it. But then I line that up with the very bottom of the envelope, pretty much at the bottom. I have a little bit of a border there. And just press that down. Make sure you're not gluing this down. Like if you have glue seeping out here or anything, make sure you're not gluing. If you do a little flip down like this, you don't want to glue this part down. You don't want to glue your flap down, right? So there we go. That's all glued down. The next step I did was take my two inch uh, circle punch and punch a little notch here. I did it now because I want this, I wanted to punch these two layers together. So I wanted to glue this on first so that I can punch these two layers together and have them even at this time, you know? So just kind of center it, uh, figure out how much, you know, you how big you want your little punch out there and then just punch it out. And try to make sure I have it centered and even there. Okay, there we go. Now we have our little notch, and this folds up under my notch. And so if you're if you're worried about your fold up, you can just make that notch smaller. So I'm done with that now. And then so the next part, I, I consider the next part the hardest, but I did my string different than um, than Rachel because I I just wanted my flap. I'm trying to get my pin and my glue. I wanted my flap to uh, fold up different than hers did. So that's why I did my string different. And I had to figure that out off video. So <laughs> to get the length, I wrapped it around twice. Um, and this one, let's see, see, let me show you how it looks finished. Let me get this tucked back in here. But see how I have my string here and it's like got two sections or two kind of wraparounds here. I think that's really pretty. And you can glue this down if you wanted to, if you're worried about it moving. And then this one I did the same way with the green twine here. See how it's wrapped twice? You've got two strings. And this one I did once. So to do the one once around, you start with your string in the front and wrap to the back and then bring your strings up through the hole and tie a bow. To do this way, wrap it twice, I'm gonna show you. It's a little fiddly, but it's easy. So I just took six width lengths of my envelope top here. So one, two, three, four, five. It's a lot of string and you're gonna have extra and you can cut it off, but I just wanna make sure, cause I did it, I did it a couple of times where I didn't have enough string. I was like, what am I doing? <laughs> what am I doing wrong here? I should have plenty of string, but I, I didn't. So that's, I got more than enough now. So all I did to do the double wraparound was start in the back of my flap 
and then you fold your flap down, bring your strings up even here so you have everything even when you end up in the end where you're tying your bow, you want it even. You get up there, okay, so see how I've got it even. And then you're gonna wrap around again, wrap around the back. So you see, you've got your two strings already in the front. So wrap around the back, you're going to the back now. And then you're gonna tie, I found it easiest to tie a little, almost like you're tying a knot, but you're not, well, let me see, are we tying a knot? Yeah, we are tying a knot. We're tying like a double knot, like you tie it and then you tie a knot. And that helps you just to keep it in place while you're putting it through the hole. So we're not tying a bow, Sherry, tying a knot. <laughs> almost tied a bow. But yeah, just tie a knot, like you tie a knot and then kind of like a double knot. So that just helps keep it in place. Okay, and then you have your ends, and then you're going to put your ends together and kind of twist them tight, get them tight so you can get them through your little hole. Because I I have a tiny hole. If your hole is bigger, then you won't have trouble getting it through. But I already had trouble getting it through. So, so you get those two ends nice and tight together, poke them through your hole, bring it up, both strings up through the hole. That's what it looks like in the back, you know, nice and neat. And here's what it looks like. I kind of like them uh, crossed in the front. I just think that looks pretty. See that? How they're kind of crossed. And then you just tie your bow at this point. You could tie another knot, but it's not really, I don't find it really necessary to tie another knot. So I just tied a bow here. And if you're worried about it coming undone, you could actually tie it tie your bow and then tie another like knot. I'm not worried about it. Or you could put a little dot of glue on your bow. But and if you don't like these strings, these hanging down too much, you could cut those off. I'm leaving it right now for now and then I'll decide later if I want to cut it off. But I kind of like it hanging down. And uh, so that's it. So if you wanted to do just one string, you would do the opposite because that's how it ends up coming out right you we started um, in the back with the double the double string but to do the one single string in the front here you start in the front and go around and then come up through your hole I think that makes sense right so there we go uh, four cute little fluffy envelopes <laughs> to uh, put in our journals and um, they only took about 45 minutes so Simple, cute, and fun, right? So I will link Rachel's video below, and I hope you all give this a try and put your own spin on it. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you later. Everybody have a great weekend. Happy crafting.